All right, welcome back, buddy. It seems we have more than a few viewers who are repairing or remodeling, and of course, they've got some questions about how to get it done right. Well, we can help you. Our building expert, Alan Wheeler, is here to answer your questions. That's why we call this segment Ask Alan Anything. Alan, welcome back to the program. Thanks, John. Great to have you here. Of course, we've got some uh, questions from the viewers out there. We're going to get right into it right now. Debbie from Somerville has a shed roof that's leaking around the soffit area, so she wants to know why and what she can do about it. Uh, and John uh, found more than one case, so I'm going to bring it up where uh, there's an eave on houses and on sheds, and it has two parts. The soffit is the flat part, and then you have the vertical where the gutters go, and that's mm -hmm. called the, the fascia. And when al aluminum is put up on the fascia, it's supposed to be tied into a drip edge, which uh, protects water from getting under the shingles and rotting. Well. There's a practice uh, locally where the aluminum comes up and goes out and there's no drip edge. Ah. So that's going to require taking shingles off, putting new drip edge in, which, by the way, is now code as of Jan uh, July 1. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. So at least in the future, that problem should be taken care so of. So it should be taken care of, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, our second question today comes from John and Mary. They're on James Island. They want to uh, perhaps lower their heating costs, and they want to do this by lowering a ceiling. So that seems like a pretty extensive project to me. Well, and when they called me, uh, I'm sure they probably thought that too. So right. I, I took a look, and uh, they've got a cathedral ceiling, mm -hmm. uh, two-story. And so is it feasible? And I said, well, yes. In fact, I've taken blueprints on custom houses and just put in the extra floor. So it's a matter of putting in flooring, uh, making sure it's structurally sound, probably check it out with an engineer, uh, then put flooring in. And so, yeah, the, lo the lower ceiling will reduce energy costs, but also uh, they wanted to have some extra storage. A lot ah, of okay. houses don't have storage. So uh, we're going to put in like a 22-foot by uh, four-foot uh, storage area. Wonderful. If yeah. there's anybody out there that, that has a, a similar problem, do you think that the savings in energy from doing that would, would finally match up with the cost of actually lowering the ceiling and paying for the remodel? Uh, yes, I think uh, it's probably probably three or four years for that. But uh, heat rises, yeah. and they were using fans to try to push it down. But you're having the uh, volume. So it, it take a while to recover. A good project right there. Yeah. Uh, Jerry in North Charleston, he writes in, he says, how can I change uh, into a, a, a dining room into an office with some storage? So another storage question. Sure. I, I uh, uh, got a call and took a look at the space. And uh, there's a window, so there's some light coming in. But uh, there were two doorways. And one was about three feet wide, and one was about 30 inches wide. Mm -hmm. So uh, to make it a little more uh, office and private, we talked about in, uh, introducing two doors, one probably wide enough to have a double door. And um, uh, the suggestion I came up with was, well, what about a French door with glass? Um, and they may consider that, uh, may want solid, uh, because there's still light coming in. And then, of course, storage. So um, I said, well, like a regular closet, drywall, uh, like in your bedrooms? Yeah. Sure. So that's how that's going to come Good, down. good, good. And uh, our last question, we've got less than a minute, Alan. Margaret in Charleston wants to know if she needs to waterproof the backer board in her brand new shower. Uh, I uh, emailed her back and uh, explained that backer board is concrete board um, and should have polyurethane on the studs behind it. And uh, my tile guy uh, will put a special red waterproof sealer on the seams, but not on the backer board itself. So uh, backer board um, will handle the tile and be uh, waterproof enough. There you go. Four questions down, four questions answered. If you have uh, questions from your ceiling your house down to the floor, you can definitely ask Alan anything. Call that number right there or visit that website. That's where you can write in, and we'll answer them live right here on the air. Alan, thank you so much for the tips. We do appreciate it. Thanks, John. Great job. Stay with us. We're right back with more Low Country Live after this.